If you're Indian, you might know about Barbecue Nation, and if not, well, let us show you. Welcome to the first Barbecue Nation here on the African continent. Barbecue Nation has hundreds of locations, mainly in India, but around the world. So, the location here in Kenya, they're trying something a little bit different to cater to the local market. So, instead of just having Indian food, you're actually going to find an Indian-Kenyan fusion here when you come to eat. So here at Barbecue Nation, of course, they do have a full bar, but tonight we're trying to be good. We ordered some very good looking mocktails this and they, so good. they put an umbrella, which is very fitting because the rainy season this year is pretty intense. Mine's so good. Wow, try Oh, wait, we forgot something. Cheers. <laughs> which you one did you get? Up. Um, I got the passionate peach something. If you like peach, this is what it is. It's peach. Oh, that is really good too. Mm. Isn't that good? And I got the strawberry mojito, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> They're really nice. They are very good. Mm. So our chutneys have arrived, and we have chili, we have tamarind, we have a yogurt sauce, and mint. Perfect for the meat. So when you come here, first of all, the menu changes every time you're here. So you're not guaranteed to have the same thing, actually. And on top of that, if you're not a buffet person, that doesn't matter because you can actually order a la carte as well. And we're probably gonna try that out as too. Probably, of course we will. We're here to try everything. We're just gonna get a little bit of everything on here just to try it because after that we're gonna try some a la carte stuff also the other thing we didn't mention yet they do have an open kitchen which is a show of its own i love restaurants with open kitchen together. so i know this may not look like a lot but we decided to take little bits of literally everything that they had on the buffet to sample it and give you our feedback on it but one thing we are waiting for before the main is some good man they make the naan here from scratch. They have a real naan oven. I mean, my expectations for this naan are like India level. So I am not a soup person, like I'll eat it if it's there, but, but I don't been really care. About it because I think that this is like the best. Tracy said it's the best soup she ever had. I mean, I feel like that's a very strong statement. I mean, for a broth soup, it's amazing. So this it's is really why cool. I say that is because the flavor. Ooh, oh, yes. all the naan bread. <laughs> Keep that coming. <laughs> Thank you. So the reason I say that for the soup is it has so many elements for a broth soup. It doesn't taste like it's just broth. So it's got like the spicy, the tangy, almost a little bit of sweet, the acidic, like it's, it's perfect. I love it. Don't feel like you need to come here for the soup, but it is very good. But I feel like you might have to come here for the naan. Like Tracy said, we took a little bit of everything except paneer. The paneer, we took two little bits of everything because it's very good. That is fantastic. So the naan bread achieved expectation. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit chewy, a little bit crunchy with some butter. It is delicious. Mm. This is why Indian food is the best. This is like Indian food, but this is definitely Kenyan. So this is where like your Kenyan Indian fusion arrives. You get to taste a little bit of Kenya, Tracy. I know. I have had this a few times, so. Very good. Very, very good. Everything is very yes. good. Especially the naan. So on the salad bar alone, they had what? Eight different salads? So actually, to be honest, I don't think I got them all because one was just like a normal Greek salad. But they have a kimchi salad, which is really good. A, um, what's the green one? Tabbouleh? Tabbouleh? Something like that. It's called tabbouleh. A sprout salad. All of it. Potato? Fantastic. Potato salad. <laughs> Amazing. All the ingredients at the salad bar are so fresh. Like you can tell, like this is from the market from this morning. Oops. I'm putting some everywhere. I see that.
So in some of the locations that they have around the world, they actually have grill on the table. But here, because you know, they want to be part of the Kenyan market. And around Kenya, what do you see a lot? People serving the meat on skewer, fresh from the grill, directly at the table. And that's exactly what they're doing here. So I'm gonna try the chicken twice. Very oh good. my god. But I've tried one with the oh. sauce too. It's so good. Like the taste of charcoal, because obviously they're cooking the meat on charcoal, is so, so decadent. So just for the record, we are still in the buffet style. You have access to all the salads, all the warm dish as well, and the different kinds of meat on skewer that they have that day. This is a good question, chicken. We are still very early in this meal and Tracy is just thinking about going to get more paneer. So good. No, 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 you get to play so the long good. game. <laughs> this is interesting. Tandoori pineapple. So it's our first like vegetarian dish coming out from the thing. Surprising. But that is so good. Your mouth kind of feels funny after, no? Because I'm not used to that flavor. And it's hot pineapple. Tendery seasoning on the hot pineapple. I don't hate it. With the sugar and the juice. I, yeah, I don't hate it. It's so different. Who would have thought this massive menu, that's everything that's included in the buffet. Like, this is insane. To put it from perspective, salads, starters. starters. <laughs> the chat station, we've got to get that. We're going to do that after. Um, and then your main courses, your breads and desserts. <laughs> That's insane. Look at this. So much. All included. Like the food just keeps coming. Like there's just three different things, like three other meats that like I didn't have time to film. Like for a buffet, like you get so many varieties. I just turned to you and be like, that was definitely the last one, mm. right? As much as I love meat, like in most Indian restaurants, like their vegetarian options are always so, so good. I, this is just loaded with cheese. Mm. So because we are very full, we ordered, they gave us like one of their lamb chops instead of having massive plates And this is actually off the a la carte menu. Yeah. So if you're wondering, although I, yes, you could definitely have the a la carte menu, but, but why I'm would telling you, you, why would you? The buffet, I think, truly has something for everyone in it. Oh, but you gotta try the lamb chop. Last but not least, we even have a chat station. So that will kind of conclude the savory section of the buffet. Big bite. It tastes like the streets of India. <laughs> That's the one. Mm. And now the best part of the meal, even though we're very full, which is so full, <laughs> dessert. <laughs> Believe it or not, Tracy doesn't even know if she has room for dessert right now. Can we get coffee? Yes. Just one. Just like a, one portion. Because right. you can't go. Tea? Yeah. Uh, no, no, coffee. 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 Yeah, coffee. Coffee. Right. Ah, there you go. Yeah, don't, don't bring coffee. I hate coffee. <laughs> so, for dessert, gulab jamun. Sorry for the pronunciation. The only thing I know about this is that I love it. I remember eating those in India. And then I have the rice pudding, which it's is so creamy. Hot. Oh, oh so, sorry, I meant to tell so you that. It's so good though. It was, it was steamy when I took it out. Cool <sighs> feet. Yes, cool. Delicious. Yeah. What are the flavors? We have this kulfi here. Okay. And this is Faluda kulfi. Oh, with a syrup. It's so nice. Nice, perfect. perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. So, to end this very heavy meal, which was delicious by the way, we've got some kulfi, which is basically, if you don't know what it is, it's, it's Indian ice cream. It's literally ice cream with Indian spices in them, which is super nice. This is mm. so different. The syrup that they have over top of this, it is very different. Which are my favorite. This is so good. This looks like the kid version. Mmm, mm. that's nice. 
This one's better though. The original. You want the original. It's like strawberry and something. So just because the a la carte menu needs just as much love, to be honest. Um, again, lots to choose from. But I do notice like you'll see more of the... I say more of the Kenyan Indian influence, but at the same time, there's different things on the buffet every day. So depending on if you come tomorrow, you're not going to get what we had today. <laughs> but like I said, there's even biryanis in here. You have like your chicken tikka masala. Like it's just a lot of things. So you will find something for you in there. And the price point is actually really, really good. Um, for a biryani, you have like $12.50 depending on what you're having in it. For your nan you have anything from like 190 to 290. let's let's get my paneer one hold on hold on paneer tikka masala which i love is 1100. that is not bad at all it's a great deal yeah so here are a few things including a shocking price and it's the last one yes. okay you promise? Yes, okay. We literally just filmed the review in the outro and then Grace showed up with more food. So I guess we just gotta taste it a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. It's as good as I remember. Oh my god, that's the best in the desert. Mm -hmm. mm. This is just like mushed carrots. But, it's but so I good. swear it tastes amazing. With the vanilla ice cream? Mm. So here are a few things, including a shocking price first um they're actually doing even though it doesn't really look like it yeah. this is an actual farm to table experience they have their own farm and their own garden so all the vegetables that you eat all the the, the yogurt that they use to marinate the the meat is actually like fresh from their own farm which is super cool and it, it, is it screams good. quality right yeah and you can even taste it in the flavors and everything so on top of that, now to your price point, it is for the meat option, 2,650. And you can eat all the meat that you want and everything yeah. that you saw basically, except for the lamb. And for the veg option, it's 2,350. And I don't think I have ever seen a buffet with that price serving this quality of food. Yep. And if you compare to other restaurants, I'm not gonna name any, but um, in Nairobi, that serves like you know meat on skewers and things like that. It is like Buffet close to it is close to double this price. Yeah, yeah. And like the meat was kind of a little bit better here. The flavors, like this is. If you're like if you like vegetarian food, it's still very good. But if yeah. you're a meat lover, like this is this is a steal. And, and the food is delicious. Especially with it, like the Indian Kenyan infusion. Yeah. For us, we love Indian food. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, Hands the down. staff is amazing. We were yeah. talking to ge the general manager. If you want to eat something in particular and if you don't see it on the menu, they're, they're probably going to just create it for you. They're that good. Other thing, they have 210 reviews right now on Google. Oh, with guess a 4. what? 4.9 yeah. out of 5, which is... That's That, that never happens. Yeah. So it's not just us thinking that it's great. And lastly, the staff is amazing from the chef to the waitress yeah. and a special shout out to Grace, our waitress. She was great. So bellies are full. We need to go home. Very full. So until <laughs> next time, see you guys. In the next one. We're going to sleep great. No. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have an Indian meal without having this at the end.